Hi everyone, this is a tutorial on how to create a 360 video by yourself and for this you will need a camera or something else to create a footage, video footage. So you can do it in a 3D rendering program or some other programs or use a camera. And here I have two cameras for you, you can use. I have the left one, it's the Samsung Gear 360. It's a really good one, it's in 4K videos and you can connect it to your phone. You can use the VR glasses from Samsung. I can recommend it. And on the right side there's the new Nikon Keymission 360. It's more expensive, it's $500, Samsung is about $350. The Nikon key mission is a bit newer, so I think the quality should be a bit better. That's up to you if you want to spend the extra $150. And the 360 camera consists out of two cameras, one is at the front and one on the back. Here you can see it the best. With the Samsung Gear 360, there is the Gear 360 Action Director from Cyberlink coming with it. There should be always a software coming with the camera. So we're starting here with the Gear 360 Action Director. We have to open the file. So here I created one. The footage always shows you two circles. So each camera is making one video and you have to stitch it together. So here you can see the loading bar at the bottom. It's now 100%. It's rendered and the outcome is now not the round circles anymore, it's the full footage. Drag the video to the timeline. You have to go to the produce button at the bottom if you want to export it to YouTube. Go to online, YouTube and here you can choose the quality settings. You can use 4K or just render it out as HD put the title in there, some keyword description, tags and then select if you want it public or private and here you can set the name for the file, the output source here you can make some enhancements, some color corrections, anti-shaking and some other settings you want to use or just put some extra text over it. You can add some extra music if you want. Just add it. And then you can select if the music should be a bit louder than the audio on the video footage. Just drag the bar. So yeah, that's the Samsung Gear 360 Manager. Another way to do that, to use a different software, so for example use the Adobe After Effects. With this you can add some extra stuff. Like for example, I like to add an extra logo at the bottom part. So you could do this if you have a Samsung Galaxy S6 or 7. Then there's the Gear 360 app for Android. And with this way you can add a logo to the bottom a lot easier. But if you want to use a PC, you can use After Effects from Adobe. But you will need an extra plugin to add it. So here I just imported video footage. At the bottom you can see my logo already. I did it with the Gear 360 app on Android. But now here just open a circle logo, you can create a Photoshop or in GIMP or other software, drag it into After Effects, put in the extra composition and then drag and drop 
this composition into your final composition with the video footage and to get that round circle logo to the bottom go to effects and that's metal metal is the metal composer is the plugin effect plugin you have to buy if you want to do that it's not for free and yeah, just put in 90 degrees and it's at the bottom And that's it. If you want to export it, go to the queue, drag in your composition, and you can make some changes. Choose what kind of output file type you want to have, and then just render it. So, and in the Samsung Gear for 60 Manager, if you export it, then you can just upload it to YouTube and it's done. It will automatically recognize it as a 360 movie. But if you do it in After Effects, you have to use extra software that YouTube is recognizing it. And for this, use this. It's called Spatial Media Metadata Injector. You can get the software free from YouTube. So just go and open, choose the video you would like to upload to YouTube and then just press inject metadata and save and that's it. Then you can upload this file to YouTube and YouTube will recognize it as a 360 degree video automatically. I hope you like this video. It would be great if you would subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this or if you maybe want to see some of my 360 degree videos. Click here to watch the final result in 360 degrees. Have a nice day everyone.